thought I had someone thinking. What is up, you guys? This is all Danny Day One on the PS4, and I'm going to be giving you a rank on Psylocke out of 100 points. So these di these different areas, 10 different areas that she's going to be ranked out of is the damage output, survivability, versatility, AOE effectiveness, survival tar uh, single target effectiveness, resource consumption, crowd control effectiveness, trials, farming effectiveness, and support effectiveness. And then the total score. So starting off with the damage output, I gave her an 85. Um, I was kind of on the edge of giving her like in between an 80 and 85. I was thinking maybe even just an 83, but I just decided to go with the 85 because she does have nice damage. Um, her, especially the fact that her psionic projections can also deal damage as well when her psionic projections are summoned. Um, they, I mean, it basically does almost, it does half the damage of what your, your normal damage does. And, um, you, she also has damage over time and pretty nice, uh, AOE effective abilities and, um, burst damage as well, which is why I gave her an 85. It's just that her damage output in general, like throughout the whole thing, isn't as strong. So that's why I didn't even put her in the nineties. Um, and yeah, so... For her survivability, I gave her an 85 as well. So she only really has a few abilities that can give her some leeway in survival. Um, she has her psionic projections, which pretty much take some of the aggro away from her. She has movement abilities. She has multiple movement abilities that she can pretty much use at willing times or whatever. And whenever she really feels like it. Um... And uh, her signature, one of the talents, it heals her and it gives her psionic barrier. Um, another thing for her survivability is she has psionic barrier, which is like a, it's a shield that she gets, which is, takes the place of her resources. So that way she doesn't use any resources. But yeah, so the enemies would have to break through her psionic barrier first before they get to her health. Um, too bad, the only problem thing for her is her psionic barrier isn't as strong or as durable, so it'll go away in a few hits, but I mean, still, that, that counts towards her survivability. For her versatility, I gave her a 65, due to the fact that she does have other builds that work, but she really, her main viable build is her movement build. Her psionic uh, projections movement build all melee too you can use her as a ranged character but the damage is just not comparable with her melee movement build her melee movement build in my opinion is probably the only viable op option she like i said she is somewhat versatile being able to use other abilities but it's just not equal so they're not going to be as viable compared to her melee build. So the next thing is her AoE effectiveness. Her AoE and her single target effectiveness are both equally ranked at an 85. The reason why I gave both of those an 85 is because they're both not necessarily strong, but they're both they're both actually fairly good. So they can do damage. She can take out bosses just as fast as she can take out mobs um she can take out a group of mobs because uh her she has an ability where she can pull mobs in and then she can do damage over time um she can just use her sonic projections right to now. you know help her in some way with her damage output as well as compared or as well as against the uh the single target enemies the bosses so that's why I gave her an 85 in both of those. Her, res her resource consumption, I gave that a solid 100 because she doesn't use any resources. She's all based off cooldown and her cooldowns are actually extremely fast as well. So she doesn't, she doesn't have to worry about u using resources for any of her abilities, which is why I gave her a 100. Her crowd control effectiveness, I gave that an 80. The reason why I gave that an 80 is because she only has one ability that can taunt enemies, or not taunt, um, 
She has one ability that can do some type of crowd control ability. She can pull enemies and she I believe it's slow. No, nah, she don't she doesn't slow. Yeah, okay, she does slow enemies. So that's one of them. She has that and then she also has an ability that can pull enemies to the center. And not just that, but her sonic projections also are somewhat uh crowd control because they 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 take the aggro away from you. So Oh, and another thing, another reason why I gave her 85 points on her survivability is because she can go into stealth. So, she can go into stealth with her summon ability or her dash ability. But, yeah, for her crowd control effectiveness, I gave that an 80. For her trials, I gave that an 85. The reason why I gave her trials an 85 is because it's not that it's hard, but it's not easy. You have to get used to her builds, her abilities... You have to get used to being able to move around the, the the area. And also, she is kind of a gear-dependent character. Um, in order for you to really take hits or dish out any type of damage, you really need to focus your on your stats and your gear and whatnot. Um, for her farming effectiveness, I gave her an 80. Um, the only reason I gave her an 80 is because, like I said, her... Her, well, you know what? Her farming effectiveness basically reflects off of her AoE and her single target effectiveness as well as her damage output. If she can't kill mobs, if you can't kill mobs quick enough, you're not going to be in the 90s for your farming effectiveness. So that's why I put her in the 80s. She can still take out mobs and kill the boss somewhat fast, even on cosmic difficulty while being um, extremely geared out. Um, but... Yeah, I just gave her an 80 because because of the fact that she needs to be very well geared in order to actually farm out effectively. Uh, for her support effectiveness, I gave that a 60 only because she has no support abilities. Uh, the only only thing that can count as somewhat of a support ability is the fact that she can pull enemies into the center or into into a spot. Which, you know, for a lot of characters, a lot of characters that are AoE based or even single target type characters helps a lot. Um, being able to pull enemies into the center. Um, and yeah, that's basically, that's honestly the only, only support ability that Psylocke basically has. If she were, if she were to use any support effect, uh, effective abilities. Um, in total, she, she came up to a total of 81 points, so it's still a really nice high score. Um, not, like, super high, but it's, it's up there, so she's, uh, above average in my, is what I would say. She's well above average. Um, like I said, she does need to be geared out. She does need to have the right gear, the right stats in order to be a more playable type of character when it comes to running cosmic difficulty but other than that she is she's a extremely fun and very strong character you know if you get her well geared if this like that's basically it i guess um if this video helps you at all go ahead and leave a like comment subscribe if you have any questions or suggestions leave it down in the comment section as well um and just remember, these are all opinion-based. Um, these are all characters that I have tested, that I've run with, played with multiple different builds. Also looked on YouTube from other char other players using their characters. And looked on Reddit and on um, GameFAQs. So, and also Facebook groups and stuff. So that's where I'm getting most of my, uh, my data from, I suppose. But, yeah. Like I said, if this helps uh, helped you at all, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know through my Twitter as well, at alldayanyday1. Um, and that's basically it. Have a good day, good night, and peace.